What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here, back with another Scarlet Violet video. And today we're going to be doing a, another team building video. Actually, the very first official one for the format of Series 1 BGC. And that is going to be centered around Garchomp. Okay, so we did a team building video around Roaring Moon. But apparently, again, uh, with the new rules, like, all the Paradox Mons are banned. So that was almost a waste. <laughs> So for now, uh, we're going to be focusing on basically building around bonds that are that don't revolve or don't include uh, the Paradox Pokemon because they are banned. And uh, I was asked to do Garchomp by a tier 3 sub, uh, you know, which is a team building sub to the channel. Uh, and again, if this is something you're interested in, uh, if you want some team building help, if you don't know where to start, and if you want a, a little bit of expert advice, uh, again, feel free to join the channel with the tier 3 sub. Uh, this is where you and I, we get to sit in a Discord call and uh, we get to plan a team together. I show you how to do the EVs. I show you how to do uh, the movesets, the item choices. All right, I take it slowly. Uh, and again, you know, with this, uh, it, we can always test the, uh, the team a little bit, uh, but that's a tier three sub to the channel, right? So once you do sub, message me on Discord, message me on Twitter, and then we can go ahead and start, uh, you know, planning our session together. But uh, without further ado, Let's take a look at Garchomp here. So, um, you know, Garchomp is obviously now, uh, without Roaring Moon, has, is almost the premier Dragon type right now, uh, alongside Dragapult. However, Garchomp is still uh, above that usage right now uh, of the Dragapult. So, uh, what does Garchomp do? Basically, um, it has great stats. It's very fast. Uh, it hits hard. Base 130 attack uh, is really, really good. It's one of the best pseudo legendaries in terms of design, I would say, right? And the fact that it has 102 speed is actually pretty significant uh, in terms of like history-wise for VGC because you're able to outspeed the base 100s, okay? Uh, and historically, who were these base 100s? Uh, you had stuff like Charizard that was base 100. I understand Charizard right now is not legal. I'm just showing you that it's an example of a base 100 mod. And the fact that Garchomp can outspeed these things uh, is always very, very important, right? And if you look at the bulk, uh, base HP 108, defense 95, special defense 85. You know, pretty, pretty uh, admirable book. I would say it's like above average um, in terms of that. Uh, and then like, again, it's a whopping 130 attack set. Really, really good. Uh, Dragon ground, um, you know, four times weak to ice. But again, you have ways around that uh, because now there is terrestrialization. Okay, so good physical sweeper. Uh, is prone to intimidate, is prone to getting burned, of course. Uh, but again, uh, there are ways around that there are tools for that uh and we'll talk about some of those ways and tools uh as we build the team but uh this is where we're, we're centering our building right so i always like to keep in mind um cores right and and along with my uh vgc condiments as i like to say you know you don't need everything but you need something so like redirection intimidate support maybe fake out uh damage mitigation status these are all things that i think about uh, when building a squad you know in terms of like good synergy and such right um i also look for a fire water grass core and or a dragon fairy steel core uh i i try to get it if i can at least one of those cores um maybe not both uh sometimes but i do try to get both if i can so um we got one of them we got garchomp and now from here uh where do i want to go from here so i actually wanted to try and center it around something like garchomp and gyarados and I like these two together. I always usually do because um, Garchomp, of course, its signature move is Earthquake. And um, you're able to do that next to your own Gyarados because Gyarados is a flying type. Uh, and not only that, but Gyarados also gives you one of those VGC condiments, as I like to say. Uh, it gives you Intimidate support, right? And that's always really, really nice. And along with Garchomp, Gyarados is also one of the premier sweepers uh, and also physical mods uh, in the format. It's very, very nice. Uh, if you don't have Arcanine on your team, usually there'll be a Gyarados or sometimes even both, uh, depending on the team. But I like these two. Um, you know, of course, with Gyarados, you always have at you do get access to something like Dragon Dance, uh, so you're able to speed things up and deal a lot of damage. Garchomp is able to get Swords Dance, uh, so more damage there. Uh, but again, uh, two physical hitters. Uh, but now I need you know a little bit more support stuff. Uh, and then maybe I can round out some of my VGC cores, right? So uh, from here, uh, I got two two physical attackers. I do want a special attacker. Uh, and again, um, when I'm looking at this, uh, I, I do want a steel type here. So I decided on Goldango here. Um, I do like this a lot just because, you know, uh, Goldango being a steel ghost 
Uh, you are prone to a ground type attack, but again, you have Gyarados on your team, so you can always opt for that pivot uh, into the Gyarados, which is really, really nice. Uh, you're weak to fire, so that's also another reason to pivot into the Gyarados, uh, because you have a water type here. Uh, and then you are susceptible to Dragapult a little bit, but if you can get speed control on your side, uh, then Goldango uh, can just do a whole bunch of damage. Like, if we just look at its stats, all right, again, the one thing that I will say about Goldango is, again, with this speed tier, it's an awkward speed tier, 84. It's too fast for Trick Room and not fast enough to be, like, uh, a good fast sweeper. So you do need something like a Trick, uh, a, a Tailwind, I would say, uh, just to help it outspeed some of the threats that do want to kill it, right? Because you're susceptible to an opposing guard chunk, you're susceptible to um, an Arcanine, and even, like, a Dragapult, per se. But if you can outspeed those threats, then you can just do a lot of damage right back. Uh, and then everything is all hunky dory, right? So I got Garchomp, I got Goldango. So that's a dragon, uh, that's a steel type. I would like a fairy. And right now the odds are two to one in terms of like physical to special. Um, so I do like Sylveon as my fairy option on a team like this. Okay, Sylveon is really, really nice. Uh, I, I, I have slandered this mod in the past because it's just too cute for me, uh, but you know, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's got the stats. It's got the stats. It's, it'll do what it needs to do now. It had a, an interesting time in Sword and Shield with Dynamax. I think Max Steel Spike just put it out of existence. Uh, but now, uh, if you actually look at its bulk, it's actually quite interesting. 95 HP, 130 Special Defense, and still 110 Special Attack. So good Special Attack, you know, above average. That's really, really nice. Um, special Defense is, is really nice, is really good as well. And then the Defense is a little bit low, but again, you have Gyarados Intimidate support to help alleviate some of that physical damage, right? Um, so here it is. I got my Dragon. Uh, I got my, my Steel type here with Goldango. I got my Fairy. Um, so I have my core here, which is kind of cool. And again, you know, with Sylveon being weak to uh, a Steel type, you can pivot your own Goldango. You can pivot your own Gyarados uh, to take those hits. And, you know, it, it, everything is okay. Um, but again, I got a lot of big hitters, okay? So this is offense, this is offense, offense. I got I got four offensive options. Technically, Gyarados could be supportive, um, but still it's an offensive threat. And I, I kind of need a, a little bit more support here. And I still need my speed control, especially for Goldango, Sylveon, and Gyarados. Uh, these are all like in the 60 to 80 speed tier, you know, kind of like just mid-tier mons. So I need something else to help me outspeed major threats. And I still need a fire option. So who's fire type and who gets tailwind? So let's take a look. This is how you narrow it down. I need, I, I need fire. I need tailwind. <clears throat> Where are you? All right. And there's only one. There, there's a couple options, but really, uh, we're, we're not going to pick the Volcarona, although Volcarona would be interesting. Uh, I do like the Talonflame here a little bit. Uh, and again, a little bit more synergy with Garchomp. So another flying type uh, that you can Earthquake next to. And again, you can give tailwind support to outspeed some of those threats, like an opposing Dragapult per se. Uh, and now Goldango is kind of chilling because we, we have what we need in terms of that speed control option, right? And Talfin got a, a couple other tools that you can consider putting on your team. But right now, uh, we got the five. And now, you know, I'm looking at, you know, I got Tailwind, but what if somebody clicks the Trick Room button? Can I survive Trick Room? And is there a Grass type on the, you know, within the, the roster that I can pick from that can help me do well in Trick Room? Uh, so I look I need all those things. So I need something slow. I need a grass type. I can only think of one thing uh, It's the Amoongus Okay, this is the I would say the the straw that stirs the drink here um, Just because uh, Amoongus allows you to do a, uh, quite a few things here for one you can redirect attacks uh, From Sylveon and Goldango uh, you can just go for you know rage powder click hyper voice rage powder click make it rain uh, And you know just keep them safe from harm's way. You can also set up your Gyarados dragon dance uh, you can set up your own Tailwind on your Talonflame, uh, even Sword Dance on Garchomp if you decide to go that route. But uh, the point is that in Trick Room, now the Amoongus is the favorable mod to click Spore on everything. Uh, so that's always nice. Uh, and then, you know, like I said, it gives you redirection support uh, that the team could definitely need uh, in terms of trying to set up and deal damage safely. But yeah, this is it. This is the core. So we got a Dragon Fairy Steel Core and we got Fire Water Grass. Uh, I think it's relatively standard relatively clean in terms of our options uh so yeah now what we're going to do is reveal the gifs and start showing you potential sets uh with this six that we made uh for our tier sub uh so let's just go ahead and reveal them so here's the gyarados like we said uh amoongus talonflame 
uh, and Goldango round out the team. And finally, in the last slot, we have the Sylveon, right? So uh, now we're going to do uh, our sets and hopefully you enjoy them and you see uh, the, just the process of picking uh, the way we pick, right? So let's take a look. All right, so let's start with Garchomp over here. So uh, in terms of ability, we're going to go with Rough Skin just in case, you know, uh, physical mods want to make contact with Garchomp. You can get a little bit of chip damage uh, going, so that's always really nice. We did say Earthquake is going to be our stab move of choice here. Uh, I also like Rock Slide, um, you know, just being able to potentially get flinch uh, stuff and then really good against opposing Gyaradoses, against opposing flying types uh, like a Talonflame, for example. Uh, that just don't want to take a rock slide go get good against other fire types as well you know so you know definitely consistent enough uh where it, it merits a slot here and it's good against ice stuff as well um dragon stab i guess you can also argue over here um i think it's okay with dragon claw i wish this thing got breaking swipe in this gem but it did not and then finally the last one just put protect okay um in terms of item you have i think uh two main options uh with the sleeper on the third one all right, you can go with the, the amulet, the clear amulet, uh, where you prevent stat lowering on Garchomp. So in case teams want to, for example, intimidate Garchomp, um, you know, it's not going to work. Or even trying to get speed control on it, also not going to work. Uh, you also can go for a little bit more damage with the life form. Uh, that's another move that you can do. But again, now you can intimidate Psycho Garchomp, but uh, you can kind of compensate it with a little bit with the life form. So it depends on you. Um, but yeah, I think both items are very, very good. And then you have, if you want something like Lumberry, where you can stop potential burns, I guess that's okay. Uh, but I think the other two are just the main options, right? Um, but for now, uh, we'll decide on Life Orb. But I do think the Amulet is just a little bit better right now. Uh, but for the sake of the, the build that we made at the time, uh, we're going to stay with the Life Orb here, okay? Uh, Goldango. Uh, oh wait, no. We, oh yeah, we did the move set. Goldango over here. So of course we're gonna click make it rain. Uh, this is its signature steel move set. Uh, it's basically like Draco meter, but you hit two targets uh, where you lower your your special attack by one stage. Um, so that's okay. But again, uh, if you have nasty plot like we will have, uh, you can kind of alleviate that and still uh, click nasty plot first, then make it rain. So then you're dealing a lot of damage. Um, and what the, the cool thing about good it's gold is uh, again you're immune to status so uh if you're afraid of an amoongus clicking spore you just bring in your gold dango and you're kind of just chilling a little bit just chip it down um so yeah gold dango uh in our last slot over here we're gonna have protect um and then uh, your main single target move is going to be shadow ball of course um you know it's just your stab ghost move why not right and then for here in terms of an item um <clears throat> So because I have the life orb over here, uh, I just decided what else can I have that will help me do a little bit more damage would make it rain. Uh, and I guess it came down to metal coat um, where our steel type attacks have a little bit more power. I mean, it's still fine. Um, I think Joe did this. I think he also had metal coat on his Goldango. Um, it makes a lot of sense, right? You know, I wish I could put the life orb. So here's an example, right? Where if I put the amulet here, then I can put the life orb on the Goldango and maybe something like a Lumberry or an Assault Vest on the Gyarados, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, but you have some options with your sets. Uh, for the sake of the, the video and the build that we made, we'll stick with the Metal Coat because this is what we, we gave the viewers. All right, Sylveon. So uh, the whole point of Sylveon is with Pixelate uh, and Hyper Voice, you're, you're able to deal a lot of damage, a lot of fairy damage, I should say. Um, so that's really nice. And then you also have access to Calm Mind. So now you can rely on some potential setup end game scenarios where you just click uh, call mines. Uh, you say you boost your defenses, you take some hits better, uh, and then you're also boosting your special attack damage, right? So that's always really, really cool. Um, protect them the last slot, of course. Um, now you have the option to go with something like a leftovers, like I said, uh, where you're just alternating call mines and alternating protects. Uh, that's going to let you get health back every other turn and still set up and deal a bunch of damage after that, right? So. You have that option, um, but I think in the end we went with something called Throat Spray, uh, which is kind of funny uh, just because, you know, you're able to get a plus one boost immediately. You don't have to rely on the Calm Mind. So if you want, you can remove the Calm Mind if you want to use Throat Spray, uh, but I did keep it just in case I, I wanted to set up. And then the last move, I went with Terra, I went with Terra Blast and our Terra type is going to be Fire in this case, just to pick up the potential steel type mons that that are in the meta you know something like uh gold dangle for example or something like uh scissor 
uh what's another one king gambit you know these are all things that don't want to take fire damage and unless they're like terra water which some are uh they're not gonna enjoy the uh fire type terra blaster right and by the way our guard chump is going to be terra ground i did want to make that clear and goldengo of course uh terra steel is also okay all right uh gyarados so this is actually where i put the amulet uh and instead of the the chomp here so uh, I, at the time, you know, I liked it uh, because I was able to set up dragon dances um, and, you know, just in case they wanted to pivot in their own Gyaradoses or their own Arcanines and, and try and drop my Gyarados, it didn't really do anything. And I punished it with dragon dance, right? And that was also kind of cool, uh, the, fact I, the fact that I could do that. Of course, we're going to have Waterfall Stab. You know, we can always get that flinch chance, uh, which is really, really nice, right? If we go first and we get the flinch, uh, that could be very devastating. So that's always kind of cool. And then over here, we just have Terra Blast. Uh, and then protect and for Terra, you know, just because we're very susceptible to electric attacks uh, Granted there aren't really electric type Pokemon running around in the meta There's like maybe a couple but not not like to the point where it was Regieleki in Sword and Shield or Raichu for example or Kyogre Thunder So nothing like that um, So for that reason you can go Terra Ward if you want extra water damage uh, But I just went with Terra Grass just to pick up like uh, potential bulky water types like uh, a Rotom, for example, or uh, uh, a Dondozo uh, as another one, right? Th these are things that don't want to take grass type damage. And we kind of need it because where is the grass coverage? Amoongus Giga Drain? That's not grass coverage. Come on. So uh, I do like this set on Gyarados. It's actually really nice. Uh, you can also punish potential switch ins uh, if you can call them, right? So it's like basically free Dragon Dance setup. Same thing with Sylveon, on free Calm Minds. If you're able to uh, call their switch uh, and then maybe call a protect and then you'll just potentially set up, right? Talonflame. So, of course, this thing is going to have Tailwind. It's going to have a, a Fire Move and Flare Blitz. Uh, that Those two moves, I decided, were like relatively stable. Uh, and then I, I was trying to figure out the last two. Um, I decided we kind of need Flying because Gyarados is not Terra Flying. We put it as Terra Grass. So I did need like some type of Flying damage, I would say. Uh, I think Brave Bird was the one we chose just because uh, we can rely on something that's not only a fire move to, to move grass types. Uh, Brave Bird is also doing that job as well. And then Quick Guard. Uh, this is a cool move. Uh, again, what's running around with priority right now? Sucker Punches, you know, Dragonite E-Speed, Arcanine, uh, Arcanine E-Speeds. Uh, these are all like, you know, uh, Aqua Jets, <laughs> you know, from Palafin stuff. You know, these are all priority moves that are kind of annoying. Uh, and then you can kind of scout that on Team Preview and lead the Talonflame for that reason. Um, you know, I think Quick Guard is really, really nice. And then over here, I think there's like two options you can really do with Talonflame. Uh, as, as far as this team is concerned, you can go for the Cobra Cloak, uh, where you don't uh, have to get flinched uh, because it stops the secondary effect you know, just in case of fake out. Or you can go for a little bit more damage and go for the Expert Belt way. Uh, I've seen some people do this, all right, and it makes a lot of sense. Uh, you can pick up a lot of interesting KOs uh, when you have the Expert Belt. It's basically Life Orb without the Recoil, although technically we are taking Recoil because we have Recoil moves. Uh, but I think this also makes a lot of sense. It's up to you. Uh, if you like the Covert Cloak, um, then definitely consider it. Or if you want the extra damage, but don't mind taking the Fake Out, uh, then you can go into um, the, well, what's it called? the the expert belt right so uh up to you all right among us uh regenerator really really good ability uh no more brute bonnet so now you're the premier mushroom for redirection and um you know being the the, the king of spore in in trick room of course there is bear breloom running around but that thing is too fast so uh we like among us uh we're gonna give it a couple of options either you take the focus sash or you take a berry, right? And you can have something like a citrus berry for HP recovery. I think uh, that's okay. Uh, if you don't like that, then you can go for the Oka berry just for the Arcanine stuff. I think that makes a little bit more sense. And even in our Roaring Moon video, we put the Oka berry on the Amoongus. Um, and a lot of other teams are also running o Oka berry. They're also running Sash, they're, ru they're running Citrus. Uh, it really depends on you and what you like. I like Oka just because I know I'm gonna be taking fire type damage uh, in some games, and I want to mitigate that a little bit, at least once, if I can do it with the Amoongus. All right, but of course, Rage Powder, Redirection, help you set up, Spore, uh, put things to sleep. Now, as far as a moveset, uh, you have a few options. You have Clear Smog, which I think is important. 
you stop setup plays, so things that are going for Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, whatever, nasty plots, quick clear smog, everything is gone. Don Dozo, you know, all those Omni boosts that it gets from Tatsugiri, clear smog it, goodbye, okay? And I think it's always nice uh, to have a check to those kinds of things on your team. Otherwise, you're going to get stomped uh, in the tournament and you don't want to do that, right? So always have a check for it, even if you don't use it. As long as you have it in the back pocket, that's what matters. Um, and then over here, you can click protect. Okay, uh, I think that's relatively standard uh, uh, an Amoongus set here. So I think we got everything. So now that we have the move sets and the items, now we're going to go ahead and start talking about these, these EV spreads. All right, so let's take a look, starting with Garchomp. All right, so let's look here uh, with Garchomp. So obviously, because Garchomp is so relevant, uh, that I just want to go max speed here, honestly, right? So just full 252, 252, uh, 169 is really nice. So, and again, if you ever want to outspeed Garchomp, right? You always want to aim for that 170 mark uh, because that's what outspeeds a speed nature Garchomp, right? Uh, and then from here, uh, I can see that we have uh, a Life Orb here. So for a Life Orb optimization, uh, if you choose to put the Life Orb here and not the Amulet on the Gyarados, uh, then I would go to 189 here. You always want to end in a 9 when you have Life Orb and on a Pokemon like this. Uh, so this way you can cheat the, the system and not take any more Life Orb damage than you need to, right? Because 189 divided by 10 is 18.9, uh, which rounds down to 18 damage per turn. Remember, Life Orb is doing one-tenth of your max HP. Uh, if I break the threshold like this, now I take 19 damage per turn as opposed to this where I'm taking only 18 damage per turn, right? One HP, couple HP makes a difference in competitive play, right? So we get new viewers every day. So that's why I'm always explaining this right now. And, you know, might as well uh, because we, we're still early in the format. And then from here, I just want to put one point of bulk uh, in the defenses and then the rest just goes into my attack, of course. Uh, we just want to hit uh, relatively hard as much as we can. And that's a very standard guard chomp. Uh, you know, life orb spread. Goldengo, so um, because I have Tailwind on my team, uh, my goal is to outspeed Dragapult. And uh, the only thing I need for that is uh, 107, right? Because 107 um, uh, plus Tailwind will get you to 214 and Dragapult hits 213 as max speed, right? So let's just show that real quick. Uh, I'll copy the Amoongus spread and then I'll put it back. Uh, but I just want to show it to you in terms of, uh, you know, the, the speed number for Dragapult. Uh, what happened here? What I do? Uh, okay, so I'll delete this. Uh, let me just show you Dragapult. All right, max speed Jolly. Um, just so that you know how to do this. And again, when you're when you're doing EV spreads, you have to look up certain threats and understand what their speeds are. So this way, you can outspeed it too. There's a two thirteen mark, so I know I have to hit two fourteen to outspeed it. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, put back the Amoongus here over here. Okay, so now Goldango, we know you're hitting that mark. But then other people are going to be hitting that too, right? So I always just go like, all right, let's just go to 108 and 109. Because 108 will be for the speed creepers uh, for that reason. So I just want to outspeed those speed creepers and just go to 109, something like this. All right. Then I just want to pretty much max out my special attack, something like this. Uh, and then just one point in bulk uh, in the defenses. And then just go ahead and just uh, run through the HP. And it's almost, uh, it's almost like it's holding a life orb, right? Where you want to put the life orb on the Garchomp. I mean, uh, on the Goldengo, and it's okay. It's relatively standard. Uh, if you want to take a little bit off uh, and then just go to like 198 because this is the third EV bump right here. Uh, and then just put a little bit more in the HP like this. Uh, then this is also totally fine. Uh, you know, now you're just a bulky Goldengo. Uh, so whichever one you prefer, I'm just going to take a little bit more off uh, and then just go to Max Modest uh, for Make It Rain. But, you know, uh, it's nice to have some HP bulk. And again, this is meant to function under Tailwind, okay? So if there's no Tailwind on your team, do not do the spread. You want to have a little bit more speed than this. Uh, but because I have the luxury of that Tailwind, that's why I'm doing it. All right. Uh, for Sylveon, so Sylveon was a little more interesting as well. Uh, I went, so I went with a little bit more speed on Sylveon uh, just to get to 85 because under Tailwind, that gets you to 170. And that'll oppose, uh, that'll outspeed opposing Garchomps that want to go for the Steel Terra. Uh, and then go for Iron Head into Sylveon. So I didn't want to, you know, have to suffer for that. So <clears throat> I went with a, an 85 speed tier uh, just for this reason. And you get to outspeed other Sylveons uh, that just don't put that much speed at all. So, you know, there's always a, a good side for that. But I just went with um, almost max special attack here. Oh no, I got, I got, I'm suffering from this thing. All right, let me just go to 236, right? 
Okay, there's the bump, okay? From 174 to 176. You see how you go up by two points, right? It's every 80 EVs that you hit this bump. So I'll just go back to 156 here. So you see how you go from 163 to 165? You skip 164. This is what we call an EV bump, and it's for every 80 EVs. So here you go, you'll experience it from 76, so 152 to 154, then another 80 EVs, 156, and then another 80 EVs for that other bump to 236, right? See how you go from 174 to 176. So that's the idea there, all right? And it's 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 good to know your bumps when you're doing your EV spreads, right? It helps you uh, configure it when you're first team building, you know, just to have something uh, like a general template. Uh, but then over here, look, you've got 236 more EVs left to play with in terms of bulk. So I just want to go to something like maybe 191. Uh, so this will optimize my sand chip, uh, you know, just against opposing Tyranitar. So if you do 191, divided by 16, that's going to get you 11.9, which will round down to 11 damage per turn, uh, which is really nice. If I go to 192, now I'm taking 12 points of sand chip per turn. I don't want to do that. So I just go to 191. And then I just need one point in the special defense bulk like this. But uh, because I want to optimize my calm mind, all right, um, I want to get a nice even number here uh, just so that uh, the combine uh, is a whole number as opposed to a decimal number because if it's a decimal number uh, then yeah, it'll just be you know round down and it's not optimal right so uh, I do want to put an even number here and then the rest just goes into defense like this right so uh, nice little bulky EV on spread meant to do a lot of damage uh, get a boost with throat spray uh, and then potentially set up and if this is on their tailwind and it's already set up that's a dream right so that's kind of cool Gyarados, so Gyarados, uh, with this speed tier, I had a few options. Uh, I wanted to go to uh, this speed tier, where is it? Uh, I believe it was Adamant 116, which is always something, right? So what does Adamant 116 get me? Uh, it gets me to, uh, that that is, <laughs> gets me to 116 speed. Um, 112, all right, we'll outspeed base 100s. Uh, and then for something like 113, uh, if you do 113, times 1.5 again uh, that's that'll uh, speed tight guard chomp so people go to 114 so that way they can outspeed that but uh then you go for the speed creep for 115 but again you know a lot of people are going to be doing that too so i just go one above and go 116 here so that's really nice uh and then you know after uh, a dragon dance uh now you're hitting if you just do some quick math here uh 174 which is really really good uh and then under tailwind of course you outspeed everything that's great. Uh, and then you're going to hit the EV bump here uh, when you go to 116 investment as well. So you see how, you, again, you're going from 174 to 176. Uh, good bump there. Uh, we just need one point special defense. Nothing really too crazy. Um, and again, I was going for that uh, magical 191 number over here. There it is. So 164 investment. And then that means uh, 108 in my defenses, which is kind of good uh, because that's my lowest of the bulk. Uh, so we have a very bulky, slow Gyarados, but it's a hard-hitting Gyarados because uh, we're going for Adamant Nature and we have chances for Dragon Dance, right? So um, the, Terra Bla the Terra Blast Grass is really nice, especially against Gashadon stuff. Um, but yeah, it's good for bulky waters. Uh, Dragon Dance overall is just a really nice move and it helps you break through, right? That's the whole point of Dragon Dance. It helps you outspeed and break through. And you can't really intimidate the Gyarados because of the clear amulet. Um, and again... Uh, there's an alternate build where we can put the clear amulet on the garchomp put the life orb on the goldango and give the gyarados maybe like a citrus berry recovery set or maybe even the lum berry for example right so we'll explore how those items affect the ev spreads in a second variation of the build uh but i just want to finish the first build right so with talent flame honestly i just want to go max speed here uh with jolly nature all right and then the same time uh, you know, you always want this just because there's other talent things. You don't want to lose those speed ties if you don't have to. Uh, then I just went like all attack in all honesty, right? Because, you know, from here, you're meant, you have two stab moves, Flare Blitz and uh, Brave Bird. Uh, if I have Terra Flying, for example, uh, that, that Brave Bird is going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, you also have a chance to burn with Flare Blitz. But again, uh, relatively standard talent flame set with that uh, Focus Sash. Amoongus. Uh, uh, so a couple things I like to do here. I like to go relaxed uh, Just to have that defense boost uh, You know just in case of the Arcanine flare blitzes zero speed just so that I can function in trick room um, And then from here, I want to go to my bump uh, in my defense You can see how I'm at 119 right now, but what happens when I move it once? 
beep, 121. I skipped 120. This is the EV bump. And then from here, you could max the HP. That's totally fine. Uh, but I'm going to go to 219 here. Uh, that does a couple of things. One, it lets me optimize my regenerator recovery, where I get a third of my HP back on switch. Uh, and this will give me a whole number because I believe it's 73. Uh, whereas if I were to go max, it'll be 73 point something, which is a decimal. So I rather just go to 219 uh, just to optimize that. And then I go the, the rest in special defense. Now, someone did tell me, uh, again, you might be susceptible to final gamut from the, uh, you know, the, the annihilate, but that's only 217. You're still uh, two HP higher than you'll uh, survive. And then from there, um, you'll you'll able to switch out your Amoongus uh, and get a little bit more health back, right? So there's that. So we did the Amoongus, we did top five. I think we did it all. Yeah, we did. We did it all. So nothing too crazy. We were just going for benchmarks, you know, keeping in mind some speed tiers. Uh, but this is one type of variation for the, the team. Uh, I do want to show a quick alternate side uh, just to show you how I would change up the EVs just a little bit. Uh, where I would just adjust the items of the Garchomp, Goldango, and Gyarados. So let's take a look at that. Okay, if I were to change up the items just a little bit, where I would put the Amulet on the Garchomp, and then put the Life Orb on the Goldango, uh, and then maybe something like a Lumberry on the Gyarados, you know, for potential sleeps and burns, uh, this is what I would do. Uh, I would just go something like this, where I would just, you know, not have the uh, Life Orb optimization. You know, I took it off. And then, you know, this is what you had before the with the life orb. But now without the life orb, you don't need to optimize anymore. You can just go straight to fudge and fudge, right? And the Garchomp will very much appreciate this. Uh, there are some slower, bulkier adamant spreads, you know, and you can afford that because you have Talon playing Tailwind. Uh, so if you want to make this like adamant, maybe just go like, like this. And then maybe just go to the first EV bump like this. Uh, and then, you know, uh, you can go for, ah, no, you can just keep max speed. That's okay. Uh, and then just uh, one point here in the in the defense and then just go a little bit more in the HP, something like this, where you're a bulky guard chomp, you know, with uh, in first bump and then you're able to swords dance. Uh, that's okay too. Uh, but for now, uh, for our purposes, I think it's just okay. Uh, just go for 252, 252 and then just still go with the jolly spread. All right, Goldango, a little bit different, actually, we're, we're already there, uh, conveniently, uh, because I'm ending with a 9 uh, with the Goldango, so that's really nice. Uh, and then I still have max special attack pretty much, right? So uh, nothing changed. It was it was actually really convenient, um, so I'm glad I kept it like that. Uh, Gyarados, uh, as this is also something where, yeah, I can just pretty much keep it. Um, the speed tier pretty much stays the same. Uh, the only thing that's different... Uh, is the potential intimidate drops but again dragon dance so hopefully you're able to take advantage uh, and get better positioning but again your garchomp cannot be intimidated at the very least so you you have that going for you all right uh, but this is pretty much it so all i really did was just change garchomp cvs and then the gold dango and gyarados we kind of pretty much just left alone uh all we did was just change up the items for for three mons and then just pretty much kept all the eb spreads except for guard chomps, right? So uh, let me know which one you like. Uh, there's a couple of different things that you can try with guard chomp. Uh, you can even go like Arcanine in this slot, keep the Amoongus and then just go like Rotom Wash. And then if you go for like Rotom Wash, I'll just copy the Dragonite first, for example. If you go for Rotom Wash, uh, then you can go for like Discharge plays. So I'll, you know, hold up. Let me go back here. Let me delete this. Here's the Wash Rotom. Uh, that is not the wash Rotom. Right here. Rotom wash. So you can go for like hydro pump. Hyper. Hydro pump. Then you can go for, honestly, you can go for discharge or you can also go for thunderbolt. Here's the other nasty plot. Here's the protect. All right. And then this one would get a citrus berry, for example. Uh, and then you just go hit your benchmarks, right? Modest 116. Right here. Pretty much max HP. Um, one point in the bulk and the rest just goes into the speed, you know, with this stat. And this is a very bulky Rotom spread. Uh, it's one that was used a lot back in Sword and Shield. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go this route, you're also definitely welcome to go this route with the Rotom. Uh, you get another special attacker to go along with Gold Dangle Sylveon. Uh, you still, uh, you know, you, you, you got rid of Gyarados, uh, so that's unfortunate, but you do have Talonflame. Uh, and you do have the power of Goldango, Sylveon, and Rotom to help you carry. 
but this is just a little bit weaker in physical options because yes you have a talent flame but how many physical moves is it gonna get off right you know there's just so much rock coverage running around and uh it talent flame can, just kind of drops uh which is why i like the gyarados i felt like that was a little bit better with uh you know the kind of team composition that we have here uh so again uh that's why i didn't put the rotom there i did consider it uh but in the end uh, i just like the the gyarados option just a little little bit more all right so uh again we posted this uh this will be in the video description uh hopefully you try it out let me know how you do i wish i could put a rental out for this uh i just don't have any mod uh, any of these mods not any of these mods i have some of these mods uh but i haven't really beaten the game yet i haven't been farming i've been busy uh i still have like six badges <laughs> so i have a few more badges to get them and we'll just stream them but yeah um this is the alternate version uh, uh of the of the team and this is the original version where we had the life orb on the garchomp right so um if you like to try both go ahead and try both if this is something you're interested in again it's a tier three sub to the channel uh team building sub you know once you do it message me on discord we'll we'll plan a session together and we'll help you out with your team or if you already have a team yourself and you just want me to look at it and fix that up a little bit that's a tier two sub to the channel and again the link for that will be in the video description as well as the comments all right we'll be back with another video in the next one guys peace out and have a good night